Sam Moon were the best. Hogarth, Gable, Tracy. Mm. Just don't make them like that anymore. Uh, remember our first date? Like it was yesterday. Went to the Fox Theater, San Francisco, some movie with Ronald Coleman. The Embassy Theater, and it was Errol Flynn. Yeah. You sure? <laughs> Pretty sure. Because it was a long time ago. Well, all I remember is I couldn't take my eyes off you. I still can't. <laughs> What's that? What is it? I don't know. It's like a broken piece of jewelry. Well, why would someone leave it here for you? Uh, who knows? I know what this is. Judge Foster, huh? Yeah. He was a cool dude. And my dad used to always say he was one of the first judges in Central City. They used to play poker together. Well, someone dealt him a lousy hand tonight. <laughs> oh, what happened here? I don't know, man. I just got here myself. But the uh, coroner's assistant found this in his hand. It's like some part of a medallion. Alec! Mendez, what are you waiting for? An engraved invitation? Get to work! Garfield, you sweet talker. Anything? There you go. What is it? Residue of plastic explosives. I knew this wasn't an accident. Now, whoever did this knew exactly how much explosives to use and where to put them. Barry. Looks like I found the detonator cap, but uh, I don't recognize the make. No, Lieutenant, if I were you, I'd check through Foster's old case logs. Look for somebody he put away who got out of jail recently. Also, I look for someone with experience using explosives. Yeah, like a cat who worked construction or did time with Uncle Sam. Now, why didn't I think of that? It's a good thing I got you two geniuses around to do my job for me. Hey, what's this? It's like an engagement ring. Marriage? Anyone we know, sir? Well, look, there's an M inscribed in it, Margaret. Mary. 
Maybell. Mavis. You two guys are cute. Thank you, sir. Uh, you're sure you're really ready for this? I mean, it's an awfully big step, sir. You've only been dating for three years. I hardly know the girl. Why don't you two clowns go back to the lab and blow yourselves up? <laughs> <sighs> so you think he'll really pop the question? Oh, I think he's just gonna pop. Lights out of me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you hungry? Yeah, that depends. I'll make you salad, seaweed and kelp. Now, if I want something from the ocean, I'll eat a fish stick. Mm -hmm. uh, how about some uh, water? Tap water, right? Hey, you know, a bottle of water doesn't have any soul. All right. Confess, Warren. What did you have for breakfast? A dozen eggs, bacon. Raw. You can joke all you like. I'm just looking after your heart. I know you are. What's this? Oh, my God. You're crazy. Why? We can't get married. We'd drive each other crazy. That's what married people are supposed to do. You're really serious. Look. I'm not very good with words. I've been alone almost all my life. All I know is being a cop. It's all I got. I want somebody to come home to. Me too. Oh, you're the best, Mavis. You got a good heart, a terrific smile. So what do you say? I want to get married? Sure, why not? Oh. 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 One thing, though, when we get married, I do the cooking. Mm. Mendez, I've been looking for you. <laughs> you and Alan finished that forensics report yet? Um, well, actually, we're, we're still working. No problem. I know you guys are working hard. Just let me know when it's ready. Uh, yes, sir. That's a nice shirt. Thanks. She must have said yes. <laughs> Damn, broken again? Fine. Do it myself. Not bad, Alan. <laughs> I gotta get my eyes checked, man. Things keep blurring on me. I uh, tested the residue from that explosive from the theater. Its chemical components are different from anything currently available. Yeah, well, check this out. That detonator cap we found is made out of titanium, so we have a custom cap to match your designer explosives. Ah, that means we have to talk to a specialist. What about that guy from the survivalist shop? You know, the one we busted for uh, concealing a weapon? Callahan? Yeah, the man who sleeps with a grenade under his pillow. <laughs> I think I'll pay Mr. Callahan a little visit. Well, good luck, man. I went over there to ask him some questions about the Doc Arson cases. He stonewalled me the whole time. Now, look, if you ask me, his clip is short a few bullets. Catch my drift? Yeah, I think I can handle him. Well, like I said, this is just a facsimile of the real thing. Mm. But if you're interested... For another 20 bucks, this book will teach you to convert that into a, an actual operating rocket launcher. Hmm. <laughs> of course, that's illegal. But you know what I always say? If it ain't illegal, it ain't fun. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
Here you go. See ya. You enjoy. Hello, Callahan. <laughs> I know who you are. You're the Flash. <laughs> I'm a big fan of yours. I get something for you? Now look, how about this? M60. You can wipe out a whole street little of those homeless people with this. You make me sick, Callahan. Oh, come on. We believe in the same thing. Not even close! Just touching you makes my skin cold. All right. And what do you want? Information. On what? <laughs> Didn't anyone ever tell you it's illegal to sell these? I'll never be able to put those back together. That's the idea. Did you make this? No. But you know who did. Tell me! You want to kill me? Go ahead. Because if I tell you anything, I'm signing my own death warrant. So go ahead. So the minute I pulled out that dead man's cap, this guy, I mean, he was really ready to let me kill him before he'd talk. All right, now, what would inspire fear like that? I haven't the faintest idea. And another weird thing, you know, I tried to access Callahan's police file. No dice. Restricted. For security reasons. Huh? I figured that out. What do you think? I think we agreed not to discuss police business tonight. Remember? I agreed to that? Is your name Barry? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <sighs> so, what's the occasion? Actually, I did want to talk to you about something. Uh-oh. I've been offered a position at another research institute. Where? Uh, it's the Pacific Institute of Technology in California. I've always dreamed of working there. <laughs> hmm, sounds like quite an opportunity. Oh, it is? Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, you plan to accept? I don't know. I haven't really thought about it yet. I see. Well, um, what about you and me? I mean, the experiment. What'll happen to us? That. Oh. Well, maybe I can fly back every few months to see how you're doing. Oh, every few months? Your metabolism, I mean. Oh, right, my metabolism. Yeah, well, we certainly wouldn't want to let that get away from us, would we? We have serious problems in this state. Crime, poverty, troubled schools. What are you going to do about that, Mr. DeJoy? Well, when I was a DA, I had the reputation for finding new solutions to old problems. If I'm elected senator, you can expect the same thing. Uh, you're not writing that down. Oh, no need. It's all in your campaign flyers. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. Let's let's just say I'll do my best. And hope. To get lucky? <laughs> to get lucky. <laughs> and let's leave it at that. Sorry to interrupt, but you've got that cocktail party at the mayor's office? Oh, that's right. Thank you, Jeff. I'll meet you at the car. Oh, when the messenger deliver this to your office. Oh, thank you. Well, you'll have to excuse me. No problem. Thank you for the interview, and good luck. Thank you.
Barry Allen. Frank, how are you? Frank, to join me, Christina McGee. Hello. I knew Frank when he was in the district attorney's office. Good seeing you, Barry. Frank? <laughs> It's shot with an arrow. He lands in the middle of your dinner plate and you took off? Where the hell were you last night, Alan? You were the only officer at the scene of a crime and you disappeared? I was pursuing the killer, Lieutenant. See, the arrows were fired from the courthouse, which is across the street, so I went... You weren't there when the black and whites arrived. Sorry, sir. I, um, rushed back to the lab. All right, I guess I wasn't thinking very clearly. You came back to the lab. After witnessing a homicide? When DeJoy died, he was clutching a metal fragment. And it was exactly the same as what we found in Judge Foster's hand. Now, I rushed back to the lab to compare them, okay? Now, take a look. Take a look at this. See, they match up. Together, they form part of some kind of symbol. Somehow, the two killings are related. All right. Nice work. Thank you, sir. Doesn't excuse what you did. You ever leave a crime scene again, I'm gonna have you on suspension. Yes, sir. Something wrong? Oh, I uh, twisted my back. Alan. Where would you rather go? Atlantic City or Las Vegas? You and me, sir? I'm talking about my honey. Moon? Get out of here, Alan. Yes, sir. Barry, I can't believe he didn't suspend you. Yeah. You okay? Oh, yeah. How'd you hurt your back anyway, man? Uh, it wasn't looking behind me. Well, maybe you should see a doctor. You know, I think you're right. Uh, could you cover for me for a couple hours? Sure. Great. Start checking through Judge Foster's old cases. Uh -huh. The one DeJoy prosecuted when he was DA. I mean, if there's a connection, that's where we'll find it. That's gonna be a long list, man. I narrow it down to someone with a penchant for exotic killings. Like a hitman. No, it goes way beyond that, Julio. I don't know. Look for something, something weird. weird. You got it. Hey, Barry. Yeah. You told Garfield you came back to the lab last night, right? Mm-hmm. Well, I was here last night, and I didn't see you. Must have just missed you. So, will I live? Unfortunately. Are you mad at me? No, I'm not mad at you. I'm furious at you. You disappeared last night. I never saw you again. For all I knew, you were dead. <laughs> well, I was dazed by an electrical jolt. All right, then I heard the police siren, so I took off. Without even bothering to call me or let me know what happened. Well, I'm here now, aren't I? Yes, because you want me to fix you up, not because you give a damn about my feelings. Barry, I was worried about you. Oh, is that why you're moving to California? I mean, our phone bills are going to be hell, right? Is that what this is all about? You don't want me to take the job? I didn't say that. Yes, that's right, you didn't. You didn't say anything. Barry, if you don't want me to go, tell me. Well, I... 
don't no, I don't. It, look, you want to go to California and you you go to California, all right? It's your choice. Fine. I got to go to work. Now, let's access all known symbols in the departmental files. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nope. Uh, uh, Julio, why, why don't you go get us a cup of coffee? Sure. Could you feel my head? What? Will you feel my head, please? What are you talking about, man? I don't want to feel your look, head. Will you feel my oh, head? Julio, I don't want to feel your head today, look, all right? Look, it's easy, just like this. Is it warm? Why? Because I could have swore that I, I just saw you working so fast that I couldn't see your hand. Yeah, you know, it does feel a little warm to me. Yeah, I hope you're not getting sick, man. We got a lot of work to do. <clears throat> That's it. That's it. That's our answer. The warriors of freedom. The what? You ever hear of Jefferson Zacharias? Sounds a little familiar. Woo! Rasputin have a grandson? Zacharias led a survivalist commune in the wilderness ten years ago. It's a bunch of... Neo-fascist, assassination squads, terror units, the works. They called themselves the Warriors of Freedom. Freedom? Yeah, they wanted to start their own country. Yeah, with an army funded by bank robberies. Yeah, wasn't there like a big shootout in the woods? Yeah, most of the warriors were killed. Zacharias was arrested, but not before he blew away a few cops. I remember there was a big trial. And there's your connection, right there. Foster was the judge to join the prosecuting attorney. So Zacharias is out of prison and he wants to settle the score. No, and he was sentenced to death. But I remember on the day he was executed, it was in all the papers, he swore that he would send an angel of death to kill everyone responsible. No. Oh my God. Hmm. Where would Garfield be? He's off duty, right? He's probably at the diner with Mavis. I'll call the duty sergeant. Have him send the car over now. Right. Yeah, no. Sarge, it's Mendez. Look, we gotta find Lieutenant Garfield right away, man. I always kind of wanted to go to Paris on my honeymoon. I hate French food. Don't you have any sense of romance? What could be more romantic than Atlantic City? This is never going to work. We must have been kidding ourselves thinking we could get married. You say you want to call it off? Well, maybe we should. All right, then. Fine. Terrific. Wonderful. <laughs> This is going to be some marriage. Uh, sure is. <laughs> Warren? Is this for you?
What's that red dot? It's gone. No. 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 Mavis. hospital in a couple of minutes. You guys take good care of her, you hear? Hurry up. Hurry up now. Hurry up. Alan. Yes, sir. All right, what do you got? Well, the gunman was positioned on the roof across the street. He left his weapon behind, custom made, no serial numbers. What about this Flash character? Nobody saw him but you, sir. No, I'm telling you, he was here. He saved my life. I believe you. This is all my fault. It's not your fault. I should have recognized the symbol on those medallion pieces. Sir, it was ten years ago. You tell that to Mavis. Lieutenant, what's Jack Callahan's connection to this case? Who? Jack Callahan. He runs a survivalist shop in Helltown. Where did you get that name? It came up in my investigation. I tried to access his police record, but it's restricted. You stay away from Callahan, and that is an order. Lieutenant, if Callahan's involved in this case, I need to know how. He's not involved. At least not anymore. Not any... What is that supposed to mean? And why are you covering up for him? Right All right, get him back. Get him back! All right, damn you. I am not covering up for anybody. Well, would you please tell me what the hell is going on here? Sir, I mean, we're supposed to be on the same team, right? This doesn't go beyond here, understood? Yes, sir. Callahan's record was sealed because he was a police informant inside the Warriors of Freedom. An informant? He helped set up Zacharias so we could capture him. The agreement was he wouldn't be involved in the trial because he was terrified that Zacharias's people would kill him. Now... You and Mendez give this case priority. The minute you get anything, you contact me and nobody else. Lieutenant, department regulations stipulate we're not to work cases we're personally involved with. I'm on this case till the chief tells me different. Lieutenant, I know how you feel. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Now, we'll catch who did this, and we'll bring him in. You do your job, Alan, and stay out of my way. How's he taking it? Not well, Julio. Not well at all. Listen, can you finish up things around here? I've got to go down to Helltown. At this time of night? What for? i got to see a man about a gun. Going somewhere, Callahan? Angel, hi. No, I was just moving my cash to a safer place. <laughs> Never tell when the IRS might drop by. You look nervous. Is anything wrong? No, everything's fine. I heard the Flash paid you visit the other day. I was asking a lot of questions. I didn't tell him anything. Tony and Jay were here. Ask them. Did I say you did? But if you didn't, then how come the flash showed up right before I shot that cop's girlfriend? Look, Angel, your father was my friend. I would never do anything to betray you. Well, I guess I'm just being paranoid. Sure, it's the times. I mean, these days, who can you trust, huh? I'm beginning to wonder. You know, your father tried to tell people. They wouldn't listen. 
So they crucified him. God, he was a great man. Yeah, he was always bigger than life. Sometimes it's like without my father, I don't know who I am. Oh, Angel, I think you'd be proud of you. Oh, whoever it was that betrayed your father, they deserve to die. You're right. Callahan. Yeah. I need more plastic explosives. <laughs> oh. Sure. Oh. Get some. Yeah. He should do it, huh? So after we get this cop, everything's finished then, huh? Not quite. There's still one more. The man who betrayed my father. To the police. Angel. I never said this very well before. But I love you, babe. You understand? It's because of me this happened. I'm going to make it right. this Angel Angel Crime lab Zacharias had a daughter. Her name was Angel. What? Yeah, man, it's in the files, man. She was a teenager when he was executed. Print out her file. I'm on my way. So that's what you look like. L Lieutenant. This is the killer, huh? Nice work. came in. Where you been? Oh, out running around. Okay. This is what we got on Angel Zacharias. She grew up on her father's paramilitary world. Her parents got divorced when she was 13. Her mom got custody. The day after her dad was executed, she ran away from home. It says here she joined the military at 18. Yeah, she was discharged a month ago. Last known address in Helltown. Garfield probably arrested her by now, though. What? Yeah, he got her address about 15 minutes ago. And he didn't go to arrest her? He went to kill her.
landing on a pressure-sensitive plate connected to over 50 pounds of plastic explosives. And if you try to step off the plate, the explosives will go off instantly. However, you've also activated a timer set to detonate in exactly 60 seconds anyway. I'm glad you weren't killed in the diner. Oh, this is much better. You're the one who arrested my father. More than anyone else, you're responsible for his death. And another thing. Since you took away someone I love, I'm going to do the same thing to you. In fact, right now, I'm on my way to kill your girlfriend. But there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Think about that while you wait to die. Forget about me. She's going to kill my girlfriend room. 808, County Hospital. Even if I try to disarm it, it goes off anyway. Nice. You hear me? I said get out of here. Oh! Get out of here. Are you crazy? Get out of here. Go! You're faster than I am. There's only a few seconds left. You want to die? Fine. Visiting hours are over. Angel. Three strikes, you're out. Give it up, Angel. It's over. The damn straight it is.
don't. You stay out of this. You're a cop. Yeah. yeah. Then I resign. You have no right to kill her. She murdered four people. And she tried to kill Mavis. You killed my father! I arrested him after he shot two cops. I was only 15 years old when you executed him! Go ahead. Kill me! I'm dead inside anyhow! Look at her. She's eaten up by hatred. Is that what you want to become? Damn you! Listen, I've been thinking about that job offer of yours in California. And? Well, I... It's very far away, you know. And I'm fast, all right, but suppose I have an emergency. Oh, I'm sure we can find another metabolic specialist at the lab who can help you with... The... Look, I'd miss you, so don't go, all right? Say please. <laughs> don't push it, McGee. Okay. Actually, I've already turned the offer down. Oh, oh yeah? Yeah. Come on, take a picture. Take a picture. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Good luck. 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 Uh, something I have to talk to you about. So, we've been friends for a long time, right? So we can be honest with each other. Absolutely. Okay, well, for the past couple of months, you've been acting kind of different. And, uh, at first, I didn't know why, but I think I figured it out. You see, it all started when you got hit by lightning, right? At the same time, the flash started showing up all over the place. That's when I figured it out. Julio, look! Did you see that? Oh, yeah, man, I can't believe it. The Flash was... Yeah, I guess he really exists. So, well, what did you want to talk to me about? Um... No, never mind. It's all right. Let's see. Okay. Oh. Take care. You understand what I'm saying to you? Good Press coach. Press coach. All right. Come on, son. Right there, boy. Good time. Good time. Very good. Poor Julio. You think you convinced him? Yeah. But listen, don't ever let me do that again, all right? You okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just need something to eat. Would you excuse me a moment? Barry, hmm? save me a slice. 